Okay, the video was supposed to start with the transition of just normal clothes. Well, this is the normal clothes. And then goes up, comes back down into dress clothes. But one of us forgot their dress pants. And so we're going to go remedy that now. Okay, I forgot my dress pants, so we're going to have to go find some. Basically, we went to the mall and the Forever 21 didn't have anything and the Ross didn't have anything either. So now we're banking on a special guest to come and help us. Stay tuned for that. is really beautiful. Check it out. It's a pendulum. We're like two minutes in and Livia's saying she's bored. But Nothing's now... happening. We're going to the JSM first time attendee orientation and reception. Okay, we finally made it to CC204. Uh, it's the one in the corner for the new student orientation for ceiling. JSM. Look at the ceiling. It's oh, textured ceiling. Nice touch, Oregon architects. Okay, so I'm not bored anymore because I see someone who was like my supervisor when I was an intern. So I'm gonna go see if she remembers me. So now Olivia's excited. Two seconds ago, she was like, why are we here? Why does anyone go to this? And then now she's lit. Apparently this is a house made scone. met some Romanians and I got really shy because I don't speak Romanian that well so I need to go to Romania for like maybe three months and just know English. Yeah and I went I so I went up to them because I knew that they had actually come to Cornell so they had come and or the husband had come and given a talk that we went to last year. Yeah. And then she pulled out the Romanian question and then Well I mean their names are like obviously Romanian. If you know, you know. But that was really good. Yeah, is that John Hopkins? Really cool guy. Maybe you can tell him to give you some data. Maybe some data from Johns Hopkins would be good. So this is pretty exciting. We're meeting a lot of cool people. When I said it was boring. She said I should cut back to when she's... But I don't think I got it on camera. Oh, really? Yeah. Thing. Okay, for the record, she was a hater, but now she's a motivator. Now we're waiting for our friend, Evan. He's about to pull up, Oregon. then we're gonna go shopping. I mean, the jeans look okay, but like, I really should have brought black pants, so we're gonna go black pants shopping and hanging out with Evan. vlog so Satija wanted me to talk to you guys because I guess you got tired of speaking I guess you got tired of it but anyways I'm gonna tell you guys so we just had these sandwiches and there's no video evidence of them because oh you took a video of the sandwich but I didn't record anything from my sandwich because as soon as we got it I kind of blacked out and just ate the whole thing because it was amazing Satita had a really good tuna sandwich with Oregon tuna, so it was super fresh. And Evan had a Cuban, and it looked delicious. It was, really it was scrumptious. <laughs>
Okay, finally, after a long time, found some pants at TJ Maxx. But check the price tag. Here it is, $108. That's what you have to do for a profession. You know, professional statistician. That's just, that's just what you gotta do sometimes. Hey everyone, this is Evan, and I am showing Satija and Livia around Portland. Here we have a streetcar, classic Portland, and we're about to walk into Howell's Bookstore, the greatest bookstore in the world. get some s'mores so apparently there's this very historic very awesome place that makes these amazing s'mores that Evan is telling us about so I'll bring you along for the journey hey guys so for my flavor, I got the, let me hold it up for you guys. Pacific Crest. Mmm. Okay, let's try it. Good. Okay, okay, okay. For mine, I got the lemon berry. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's give it a bite. Let's chow down. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 11 out of 10. Exactly how a s'more should look. Oh, look at these roses. Okay, this is Olivia's plan if anyone comes up to her poster tomorrow. So instead of having like an open and inviting like presence, I'm just gonna... I'm at the very end. That's good that I'm at the end. We were like, there's no way that we're gonna stay here the whole time. Then we checked the watch and it's 9.57, so... <laughs> like... Well, I mean, to be fair, we did entertain ourselves quite a bit. Yes, walking around. I'm trying to read people's name tags because I don't know what they look like, so the only way for me to find them is to try to sneakily read their little print on the tag. So and I'm I gonna got spend... this thing. It's been entertaining. And I'm gonna spend the next May 15 minutes or so trying to read people's name tags, trying to meet people. So, I don't know if I'm proud about this, or shame, but we closed the place out. Yeah. We closed it out. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They turned the lights off on us. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Honestly. <laughs> it seems the theme of this JSM is we start out and we're like, why would anyone go? Why would anyone <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And then here we are, <laughs> not wanting to leave at the light out. <laughs> I don't know what happened, honestly. <laughs> no, it's because we we just meet some cool people, I guess, um, and so it's fun to stick around. It was cool. <laughs> Not bad, still need to roll my sleeves. Oh, no shoes yet. Okay, this is a little bit premature. One second. Okay, my shoes are... How was it? It was actually good. I wasn't really nervous at all. We talked for like two hours. Yeah, Long people time. asked a lot of questions and, and I responded and they said, okay. I got to talk to a lot of people that work on compositional data. And it was good to see them. One person, I finally met someone that I would know from reading their paper. So that was really good. Bit of a fangirl moment. Bit of a fangirl, a fanboy moment. <laughs> We found Sara. <laughs> yep. Well, first we 
were deciding where to eat lunch and we originally were gonna walk that way. But then Sara was like, let's go this way. To Burgerville. Get a burger and maybe a milkshake. And basically when we walked this way, our life changed. Forever. <laughs> because we met one of the legends of our field. Legend. Legend. He's the GOAT. His name is Robert Tipcharani. He's like the biggest statistician in the world. And he basically just... invented all of statistics. And we all use his work in different ways. Yes, everyone uses this guy's work. He's a genius and it's crazy that we ran into him. And he roasted me for being a Bayesian. But He's a really cool guy. We're grateful to Sathija for suggesting that we go take a picture with him. Because yes. then we did. And we had a nice conversation. Yeah, I was surprised was we talked to them for that long. Also, yes. wait, who was the... Which one of us uh, found... Was able to recognize him? I think that was you. Are you being serious? Like, you're just asking that? No. Oh, wait, <laughs> oh was it? <laughs> 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 it was you. <laughs> a long time. Like, every time I've been up to Ithaca, I just haven't seen it. Statistics. <laughs> Texas A&M people are lit. Yeah, they even like people who don't even go there. Yeah, they're so nice. It's a really That's great school. That's why it wasn't, in, it wasn't invite only. Yes, because Aggies are inclusive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked to a lady who is a master's. She did a master's at Texas A&M and now she works She's at... Have, she has my dream job. She has Livia's dream Remote job? Remote and makes a good so amount of money. Maybe there's some sort of connection there. Only time will tell.